Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what takes the narcissist by surprise. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This takes a narcissist by surprise. Narcissists want to appear powerful and in control, as though they're mentally and emotionally well-developed. So they may often act relaxed and calm, as though they do not care, or they are not worried about something. Which is why they always have to be two steps ahead of you, and everything has to be predictable for them. To make it seem like nothing is above their ability to deal with things. As though there's nothing you can say or do that will affect them emotionally. There's nothing that will move or phase them. But it's all make-believe. They're just putting on an act. Because there are five things that will catch them by surprise. Things that they may be unprepared for. Things that may shock and astound them. To where they may start shaking and quivering as a result of fear and anxiety. 1. When you become indifferent. When you show indifference to pleasure or especially pain, as a matter of principle or self-discipline. When you stop reacting to everything they say and do, and instead you do not complain or show your emotions, because then you're giving them fuel, which will irritate and annoy them. It will make them restless and impatient, because they cannot function without your emotional responses. So they need you to feel something for them, or because of them, and whether it's a positive or negative emotion, they will immediately feel powerful. Because then they're able to overcome their own feelings of inadequacy, when otherwise they would feel extremely insecure. But when you take away your emotions, they feel like you have betrayed, exposed and left them defenseless. Because normally, they're studying your facial expressions and tone of voice. But when they're, when they're unable to exert a modifying or controlling influence on your voice, and they cannot detect a varying strength, tone or pitch, they cannot tell if you're happy, angry or sad. And without them being able to gauge where you are emotionally, it leaves them powerless and helpless which is why they will then become even more reactive. But if you continue to observe their behavior, rather than to absorb what they're doing, eventually they will get bored because they can no longer parasitically extract your emotional energy. Two, when you become assertive. The narcissist already knows you're right. They just want you to keep proving your point. They want you to continue showing them that you know something or can do something. Although those actions will serve no other purpose. They want you to keep fighting for justice, but in a way where you're arguing back and forth with them. Because by getting you to do that, they know they will always win. In these arguments which go on endlessly, repeating the same patterns with no resolution because they're never going to give you closure and you will never reach a resolution with a narcissist. They will never tell you that, but they already know that's how it's going to pan out. They're just playing with you without you realizing how they maneuver you around in this game that they've created for you. Which is why when you set boundaries for yourself, it takes them by surprise because it tells them that you have figured out the game. You can't set boundaries for a narcissist or against a narcissist because they will always cross over your boundaries 
But what really takes them by surprise is when you set boundaries for yourself because it reveals to them something that they never thought you would figure out. That there is no cooperating with them. And in fact, the only thing you can do when you're dealing with a narcissist is distance yourself from them. They already know that. They just never wanted you to figure it out. Three, when you choose yourself over the narcissist. Narcissists want you to abandon yourself in their favor. They want you to seek their validation and approval. And if they withhold it from you, they expect you to beg. Because all that really matters to them is feeling important. They want to feel better than you. They want to feel like they own you. They're very arrogant and entitled. So they expect you to see it as a privilege to be around them and to always cater to their needs, to care for and protect them like a mother and overwhelm them with love and attention. They have delusions of grandiosity. So they assume that you will always keep them on the pedestal without limits, requirements or conditions because they are not expecting you to focus on yourself. Their main objective is to make you abandon who you are so that they get to use you for all your worth, which is why you must choose yourself over the narcissist. When you set strong boundaries and go no contact and you no longer respond to their Hoover attempts or fall for their love bombing, it's because you see through their facade and you reject their false persona. You reject their attempts to coexist in harmony or show themselves to be compatible. And by doing that, you win, which catches the narcissist by surprise. Because they thought they were always going to be the most important thing in your life, but your entire existence is all about them, while you are nothing more than an extension of their false self, which means that they own you. But they cannot own you if you choose to separate yourself. Although they will not treat that casually, without seriousness or worry, because they are very insecure. So they are arrogant, vindictive and condescending, which means that they will seek revenge, often through the use of smear campaigns. Because when a narcissist cannot control you directly, they will try to control what other people think about you. A smear campaign is a clear sign that you have won which is why they have to try to destroy your reputation because you have caused a huge narcissistic injury. You have shocked them and left them very confused because they thought you would always be under their control. They thought they would always be the puppet master and you would always be their puppets. Four, when you're emotionally unaffected by their false narrative. The narcissist will talk about you behind your back. They will spread lies and rumors about you to their enablers and fly monkeys. And it's to compensate for their feelings of non-success, non-fulfillment, defeat and frustration, where they fail to defeat you. Which is why they want you to worry about how you will be seen. Because they know how useless and worthless they appear. Which is why ruining your reputation is very important to them and also because your reputation is very important to you, especially when it's to do with your work. They target things that you do care about, which is why they will run off with their new supply and they will say that you ruined their life. But when you validate yourself, after understanding that they've constructed a false narrative, it can no longer affect you because you will recognize that good people will not blindly accept what the narcissist is saying to them and instead they will consider things that aren't being said, things that aren't being told and they will come to you and ask questions. Because if they deserve to be in your life, they will stay in your life no matter what happens, while those who are meant to be gone will be removed by the smear campaign. 5. When you stop reacting when you stop taking the baits, 
when you stop doing what they intend you to do. Because they will try to bait you in. And if it doesn't work the first time, they will try again and again. Because they need your reactions. They feel entitled to it. So they look for things to take advantage of. They manipulate people's emotions. They use all sorts of tricks to gain control of a person's mind. And sometimes it can be effective. Because they play on your empathy. They guilt trip you. They exploit it in order to influence, control and achieve their objectives. And that's often what causes victims to take the bait. But to avoid taking the bait, you need to recall all of the times when they were not there for you. Because they will forget all of the abuse. And if you go back, it's not going to get better. Which is why you just need to process the emotions instead of reacting to them. And when you do that, it will take them by surprise. Because they thought you would be susceptible to them pushing your buttons. They didn't expect you to remain detached. They wanted you to feed into it. So that they could further exploit you. Or so that they could make you look like the bad person. But if you remain non-reactive. And you never go back to them. That is like sunlight to a vampire. For a narcissist. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.